Welcome to second part of video for presenting total sales value inside 100% stacked column chart. In previous video, we have seen the steps to present total sales value inside stacked column chart showing the absolute values. In this video, we will see all the steps to create 100% stacked column chart with this total sales value just like we have displayed on the screen. So let us get started and see how we can create this chart inside Excel. So let us select this entire data set including the total row, go to insert, go to this stack column chart. So let me cut paste this at the bottom. Let us paste it over here. So now let us increase the column width and height for this one. Now let us try whether we can use formatting from our previous chart which we have created along with the total sales value. So control C. So let us select this Alt E S and let us click format. So this is again getting changed to our normal stack column. So let us see whether we can change this chart type and whether it looks fine. So let us select this one will be a hundred percent. This will be a hundred percent. This will be line with markers which will be on secondary axis. This can be line with markers as a hundred percent. So here you can see we have selected all of them as a 100% stack column which are on primary axis and the total one is on secondary axis. So let us click OK and so immediately here you can see that our chart looks fine. So we'll have to make still more changes. So let us change this to our legion. So let us select this one. So let us control one. So this will be line with markers. Line will be no line. Let us go to markers under marker options built in will be this one. So let us select this can be a 10. So it looks fine. So let us close this. Let us decrease the space between this row. So this looks fine as of now. And now we will have to change the numbers which are getting displayed for total. We'll have to display first of all the primary axis. So this will be primary vertical. Secondary vertical we don't want. So uncheck that. Now let us change the font color for this. This can be a gray color. And now for this one, we will have to change directly in our source data. So let us decrease this a little bit. So it looks fine. So we will have to display this in thousands. And this one also we will have to change it. So let us first go to our raw data set and we will do our custom number formatting. Control one, go to custom. This will be hash mark and comma. So let us click OK. So this got converted into thousand. So let us go and see whether it looks proper in our chart. So this is looking proper. Now we'll have to change this numbers also just like we did it in our previous chart by selecting it from cells. So we'll have to change it one by one manually more options. So this will be values from cells which will be this one. So let me close this and now here you can see that on screen we have created a 100% stack column chart along with the total values which are getting displayed. So this becomes easier for the reader to understand how much was the total sales during that month and how much was the percentage. So that is it like guys from my side. See you guys in next video.